Once you have soil, you can plant. Today we are paying a visit to one of our young farmers in Ajax, Ontario. How are you, Farmer Lawrence? Doing good, Brother Lawrence. How are you? I'm very well. Tell us about what's happening with your farm. Well, we're just having growth all over the board here. You can see that these tomatoes are thickening up right at the stem. Okay, nice. Nice and sturdy. I can't believe these are the same <laughs> tomatoes that you showed us two weeks ago. These are giants. What are you feeding them? Um, Just some bloom, bloom, bloom. That's all. 5, 10, 10. 5, 10, 10? Okay. That's the secret formula. Once they get some flowers on the 5, 10, 10, that's time. Before mm. then, it's 4, 4, 4. Oh, wow. All the way. Wow. Look at that. We have scallion here. We have, what else do we have here? Kalaloo. Kalaloo. There's no Jamaican garden that's good without Kalaloo. No, no, no. We have lettuce coming along. Beets. Oh, beets. Nice. I, th I thought those were Swiss chards, but they are actually <laughs> beets. Wonderful. That's very good for the, the blood and for the skin. What else do you have happening here, sir? We've got a mint bushlet growing here. Beautiful mint bushlet here. Mint, wonderful mint. Lavender. Lavender. And we have some milkweed here. Not a vegetable, but still beautiful. Beautiful, okay. In the background, we have some other observing farmers just looking on, but we're not including them in the video. You know, they're not being recorded. All right. What do you have happening here, sir? On the front row, we have eggplants. Then we have tomato. Then we have sweet peppers on the side. Oh, I mean, wow. Uh, sorry, hot peppers. Scotch Those are hot peppers? Scotch okay. net all the way. And then watermelons on the back row. Oh, nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. We really love what you're doing here. I'm very proud of the work you're doing post winter. And you have your lettuce in grow bags. Beautiful lettuce. Wonderful. Looks like there's some spinach there, some okay. pop soy. All these stuff, Swiss chard, all these stuff. Okay, Swiss chard, spinach, lettuce. This is amazing work you're doing here. And I see you're feeding the pollinators because you do have your flowering plants here. How did you choose these plant varieties? What led you to choose these colors? They're so vibrant and amazing. Well, actually my grandma chose these. Okay, yes. <laughs> the elders, we have to draw on their wisdom. The flowers that I picked, they all look like bushes. You can't tell them now, but they'll bloom soon. All these flowers along the edge. Oh, nice. So these are all blooming. Wonderful. All blooming soon. So what exactly did you say this plant is? So this is the milkweed. The only thing the monarch butterfly will dare to lay its eggs on. If oh, this wow. not this plant, it really does not have any interest. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's for the monarch butterflies. And what exactly is this one? This is a broad leaf. It looks so like, right here. what is you it? You might see this around your yard and say, oh, I'm going to take out this weed. But this is actually the plantain majora. The plantain majora. All right, not related to the banana planting, is it? Okay. <laughs> no, this one you'd use for your skin. So if you have any cuts, bruises, burns, oh, uh, rub that up on it. A skin ointment. Wonderful. Oh, Wonderful. Yeah. Good and you can stuff. Eat the leaves in a salad. Oh, and you've tried it in a salad? You should. <laughs> oh, I should, but I haven't yet. I want to keep letting it grow, though. Okay. That's the only reason. Well, Mr. Lawrence, we thank you for allowing us into your backyard. For the side viewers, we want to thank you for coming in and observing what was happening. You have strawberries here. I think your squirrels have paid you a visit because... Oh, yeah. All the strawberries are gone now. Don't worry. Okay, they'll they go back. Out. They cleared them out. Okay. Well, Mr. Lawrence, on behalf of the Canadian Planting Society and Farmers Weekly, over and out for episode... 32. 32. That's have a good day, sir. Over. Thank you.